Welcome to Tricky Mickey. Please subscribe, share, and like. In this episode, we are going to examine the history and legends of the Devil's Triangle, also known as the Bermuda Triangle. Many, many unexplained activities has occurred in this area of the Caribbean Ocean, off the coast of Florida. Unexplained disappearances of planes, ships, for over a hundred years. The government of the United States does not discuss this, will, will not even acknowledge what is the Devil's Triangle. In this episode, we hope we will give you enough facts, evidence, details, and proof to bring you into a clear understanding of what is the Devil's Triangle or the Bermuda Triangle and its disappearances of many ships and planes. The first person to report unusual and strange happening was Christopher Columbus in 1492. He wrote in his journals that there were mysterious lights and that his ship compasses were not working properly. This area of the Bermuda Triangle, the legend began with him and his meticulous record keeping of his strange experiences in this part of the world. Experiences that he was not able to explain and he passed on to us with the hope that with our advanced science we can begin to explore the mystery of the Bermuda Triangle. This area of the Bermuda Triangle is also very strange because it is one of the two places on earth that a compass will not point to the true north. Compasses going through this area have to compensate to avoid going off course. The area of the Devil's Triangle got its name from the island of Bermuda because its original name was the Isle of the Devils. The Devil's Triangle or Bermuda Triangle. But the, one of the first uh, disappearances of a ship called the USS Cyclops and its sister ships occurred in 1918. 306 people were lost when the Navy ship, the Cyclops, vanished. All the people on board were never seen or heard from again. This event is the greatest loss of U.S. naval history outside of a combat. The sister ship, the Proteus, also during the World War II period got lost in the Bermuda Triangle. And the other sister ship of the Cyclops, the USS Nereus, also got lost. But in 1945, Flight 19 began the true history, the Lost Patrol. When, in 1945, December the 5th, 14 naval airmen left Florida on a routine naval f air flight. This flight, 19, was supposed to last about 1 hour and 14 minutes, but the routine became very, very mysterious because Lieutenant Charles Taylor radioed back to command center, quote, there was something terribly wrong. There are, our compasses are not working. They, they have malfunction. Charles Taylor, the leader of the Flight 19, was a very experienced man with many, many flight hours. Furthermore, he said, we don't know which way is west. Everything is wrong. Even the ocean doesn't look as it should, quote unquote. Flight 19 vanished, never to be seen again. The Lost Patrol began in earnest the legend of the Devil's Triangle. To this day, no credible explanation scientifically has occurred. This map shows how they veer off course, totally disoriented by the mystery of the Bermuda Triangle. Later on, a ship was sent to help them. That ship also failed to come back. 27 minutes into its flight, searching for Flight 19, 13 men were also lost, never to be seen again. The term Bermuda Triangle was first created with the passage of all of these mysterious events. Right after all of this, a man by the name of Vincent Gaddis reported on the Bermuda Triangle. He collected a lot of information. He did this in 1963 in an article in the magazine Argosy. He described in great details 
all the paranormal activity that has occurred in the Bermuda Triangle, the Devil's Triangle. In 1948 and 49, three more planes went missing in this area. Again in 1958, a pleasure yacht, the Caramara 4, was found adrift with no crew on board. In 1963, four months after the publication of the first article on the Bermuda Triangle, more boats went missing. What you're looking at right now is the witchcraft, which on December the 22nd, 1967, on just a routine holiday, went out to see the Miami lights that could be seen at, at nighttime off the coast of Miami, Florida. Two people were on board, Dan Borak and another gentleman. They radioed the Coast Guard that they had hit something in the water and that the boat needed to be towed back to shore. The Coast Guard quickly in 20 minutes reached and the boat was gone. Presumed missing but not lost at sea. We're now looking at a man called Bruce Gurdon and he's the author of The Fog. He reported back in 1970, December, that he took off with his dad and a business associate from Anthropo Airport, Florida. As he was flying, he noticed an unusual cloud in the distance. Then the mysterious cloud engulfed him. He stated that his plane was in this cloud for over 10 minutes. Then another cloud appeared and there were weird lights. He stated that he was in this cloud for 13 minutes. Then he noticed a hole in the cloud and he flew right through it. After 20 seconds, they came out of it and everyone in the airplane felt a strange weightlessness. Bruce Gurdon said that his plane, electronic e equipment and instruments were not working and his compass was spinning out of control. This journey of the plane made normally takes 75 minutes but it was only down to 47 minutes. Something very weird happened in the Bermuda Triangle. They covered the, the same distance in 27 minutes. But recently, crystal pyramids have been found at the bottom of the Caribbean Sea. What are these crystal pyramids? Well, in 2012, a joint scientific group of French and Americans discovered in the Devil's Triangle, two ancient pyramids of unknown age and structure. These pyramids are 300 meter wide and 200 meter tall. These underwater structures are larger than the pyramids of Egypt. German independent oceanographer states that the technology has been found in these two pyramids that are unknown to modern science. The structure were found 2,000 meters on the ocean floor. The two pyramids are smooth and made out of glass-like material. They are also translucent. The U.S. military has put any further search and exploration of this er area on hold. All available information of this topic has been sealed and labeled top secret. The U U.S. military has confiscated the German oceanographer's material and there is no longer anything to prove independently anything about the structure. Skeptics and mass media outlets are not denying any such structure have ever been found. Has the Devil Triangle provided any scientific reason for its weird behavior? Well first there is the issue of electronic fog which is very hard to prove but the electronic fog is supposed to mess up the compasses and other electronic instruments causing airplanes and boats to veer out of control. If something sinks in the Bermuda Triangle, the Gulf Stream will take it all over the, the Atlantic Ocean. Off the coast of Puerto Rico, there's a deep trench where if it falls down, you cannot find it. Also, there are, are a lot of rogue waves that can go up into the air and swallow airplanes. Underneath the ocean floor, there are, are a lot of methane. If the methane destroys the buoyancy of the water, the ship sinks. Also, people have speculated the lost city of Atlantis, that there's some type of ancient civilization that created technology that we have no control over. Aliens have been also proposed as another solution.
There's no way to prove or disprove any of these theories. That's why the Bermuda Triangle, the Devil's Triangle, is very strange. Ancient mariners said that there are big creatures that can rip ships from out of the ocean floor down into the depth. Also water sprouts, weird cloud formation that causes hurricanes, whirlpools in the ocean floor. Again, the magnetic theory. As I stated before, this is area, the Earth magnetic forces does not work as correctly as it does anywhere else in the world. Somebody proposed a space-time warp that people go in one end and come out the other end. All of these are mysteries of the Bermuda Triangle, the Devil's Triangle. My purpose here is to provide you all the scientific explanation, all the theories, no matter how outlandish they may be, so that you can make an informed discussion. So that in the event that you're taking some type of vacation anywhere near the Caribbean, or you're flying through the air, you take the necessary precaution because we're not being informed by the authorities of the area. It just might ruin tourism. So what are the overall explanation? If you go down into the ocean floor, you will find the wreckages of many th things that have happened. All we can do regarding the mystery of the Bermuda Triangle is depend on science to provide us with logical rational scientific information so that we can make informed decision as to how we are about to go through the area and survive whether we're taking a vacation or not. I thank you very much for for listening and watching this video with me. This is Tricky Mickey. Please subscribe, share, and like. Until next time, Tricky Mickey, take care. Bye-bye.